How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. In the Series 15 live stream yesterday, we got a bit of information about Series 16, which is coming out in January. So this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything we know about Series 16 so far, which is more so the festival playlist and all of the new cars. Series 16 is going to be called Fordsathon. It's going to have Ford themed rewards and festival playlist things. We're going to go through the festival playlist very shortly. This isn't a full Series 16 update video. That will be towards the end of December because there's probably still things missing. This is just festival playlists and new cars and what we know so far. After I've shown you the festival playlist, I've got a really cool graphic to show you and then an update from Torben on the leaderboard hacks, money glitches and two free gift cars we're all being given. So let's jump straight into the festival playlist. If you enjoy this video and it's very helpful, make sure to subscribe, it's much appreciated. Let's jump into it. So for the full series for 80 points, you can get the first new car of this month, the MG6 X Power. And then for 160 points, the Hoonicorn V2. Onto the first week now, which starts on January the 5th. It's worth noting that during this first week, there will be floating lantern collectibles that will be returning to the game in the Junus Blancus area. For 20 points, it's the second new car, the Renault Megane RS250. And then for 40 points, the Ford Julie. The Forzathon shop for that first week has stuff like the Hoonigan RS200, the Ford Mustang Boss, the Goal Carhorn, and USA Race Gloves going to put on screen the screenshots of the rest of the challenges available on that week. You can see all of the Ford challenges and Ford rewards. Now the second week, which starts on January the 12th, you can get the third new car of this month, the MG MG6 20 sort of race spec car. And then for 40 points, the Ranger Raptor. The Ford Salon shop for that third week has the RTL Mustang, the Ford Bronco R, a police siren horn and a lion wristwatch. Here are the rest of the challenges on that week. The third week, which is January the 19th, you can get the fourth new car of this month, the Renault Clio from 2016, and then the 2005 Ford GT is available for 40 points. The Forza on Shop for that third week has the Ford Bronco, the Ford Mustang Formula Drift, the Wheel Spin Win Car Horn, and some White Bird Leather Boots. Here are some of the challenges on that third week. The fourth and final week, which starts on January the 26th, leading up to Series 17, you can get the fifth new car of that month, the Renault Clio from 2010. And then the Ford Fiesta is available for 40 points. The Hoonigan Hoonicorn, the Ford Trophy Truck, a tank top, and the Doom E1 M1 High Car Horn can be found in the Forzathon shop for that fourth and final week. Here are some screenshots of the rest of the challenges on that last week. The full festival playlist what i'm going to show you now is that graphic i was on about as this was shown on the playground games stream and this basically shows all of the content that we've been given to horizon 5 since release and not gonna lie it made me step back a little bit and think i think we give player games a little bit too much stick you know a lot of the stuff or almost everything on this graphic has been completely free other than the hot wheels expansion everything has been free and we still see so many people complaining about these updates just not being good enough. They're free. Look at how much stuff we've been given. You know, customization, stories, as, as easy as some of the stories have been, it's still free stuff. While we're on about updates, I do think there is a reason that Series 15 and Series 16 and Series 14 as well were a little bit lacklustre. And that's probably because Series 17 is next. Series 17 is rumoured to be very big. Now, as I said earlier, we got updates from Torben about some of the money glitch exploit fixes they've done and leaderboards. So I'm going to roll on screen what Torben had to tell us about the Super 7 money exploit. One of the things that, that's really been weighing a lot on our minds recently is the Super 7 exploit, which sure. basically allowed people to get a, a, a very large number of credits in ways that was just never intended by getting the game to go into a glitchy state. Mm -hmm. And... 
and we all know games have glitches and, and people will sometimes use those glitches, but the problem here was really that via the auction house, players could impact the experiences that other players were having. See and affect the economy, so on and exactly. so forth. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and that's why we, we, we took the steps that, that we did on that. We, we shut down the auction house mm -hmm. just to, to prevent that from further impacting prices mm -hmm. while we continued to address it. And first of all, we fixed the glitch, did yeah. a patch that, that prevented it from happening. Um, and then we then looked at, well, what can we do to fix the price inflation that's happened? Because, as we know, uh, auction house prices float based mm -hmm. off of whether or not cars are being sold. And lots of credits mean that cars were selling. So auction prices were floating in a way that we didn't want. So we reset those. And then sure. we, we then looked at how many credits were in the economy. And, and there were a lot. So what we did was we, we went in and we took our time to carefully identify players who had who had been using it a lot. Sure, okay. And it generated a lot of credits. Mm -hmm. And we decided to take an approach where, where we would basically roll credit balances back to the point where this glitch started to become widespread. Okay, yeah. Kind of saying, okay, a lot of credits went into the economy there. Let's take them out again to the best extent that we can in a way mm -hmm. that, that felt planful and thoughtful. Yeah. Uh, having done that, having patched the game, we and having reset the prices on the auction house, we reopened the auction house, which happened yesterday. And there's a way, there's a wrap up to that as well. There's a thank you for the patience. Yes, yes, yeah. there, yes there is, because it was on us, right? Um, it was our glitch. Uh, and uh, to kind of say sorry, essentially what we're doing is we're giving all players two really hard to find cars. Love the that. 2021 <laughs> Audi RS e-tron GT with a uh, quite a famous fictional owner and the uh, 2021 BMW M4 Competizione. So that's good to see. It's good to see the details from Torben, why it took so long and the exact measures they've took. As I said, Torben also gave us a bit of an update on leaderboards as well. Let's take a look at what he said here. We are continuing to work on our leaderboards and our goal here is really to improve the accuracy of the leaderboards all up and I know we've been getting questions about why haven't we just reset the leaderboards completely, start them over from scratch. And, and sure, that, that's an approach. It's option A. Yeah. But all of our telemetry tells us that it's really only a few people and a few leaderboard entries that are in a space that is questionable. Mm -hmm. And just totally flattening out the leaderboards is, just feels like it would be, it would be unfair to the people who legitimately set those scores if we deleted it all up. So we, we don't have plans to reset our leaderboards completely. But in the coming weeks, players should really be expecting to see more times getting deleted from the rivals' leaderboards. Um, it's a gradual process that we take our time with because it's complicated. I, I know that's easy for me to say, but it really is complicated. And we're trying our best to make sure that our leaderboards remain fair and have legitimate scores. So. I would be shocked if we're not having this conversation again on a stream in the future. That's now, as usual, it's good to hear updates on that. But what I find surprising is, you may remember a couple of videos ago, I spoke about how legitimate leaderboard times are actually being deleted. Even Donju One Song has had that happen to him. Legitimate leaderboard times are being deleted. And I was quite surprised how Torben didn't bring this up, because that's obviously a downside of having to do what they're doing. Some legitimate times are going to sneak their way in. And I'm surprised he didn't mention it there. Uh, maybe they're not fully aware, but it is happening. It seems like this leaderboard thing is going to be a very long process over several months, so I'm sure we can expect plenty more updates in terms of this. As for Series 16 and everything we know today, that is everything. Obviously, I will do more videos if any more information comes to light on anything, Series 16 or anything else in general. We always cover everything, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. If you haven't already, for more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.